hello friends now let us deal with uh, in our previous class we have learned the um, fibrocystic changes in the breast that is totally we have completed the non neoplastic lesions of the breast so right now today we are going to learn the tumors which are seen in the breast that is breast tumors I would take three to four classes on breast tumors. On the overall breast tumors, uh, has it this has some drawing diagram in front of you. It takes some time. So if you wanted to take less time, you can also watch the preview videos, which I would uh, uh, all the review videos which I would also upload after a few days. So basically, uh, coming to the breast tumors. It is they, they are very common in females. If you see every most of them, uh, they have one or the other form of tumor. It may not be a carcinoma, but many women are prone to tumors of breast. So as we divide each and every tumor, we divide it into benign tumors and the carcinomas. So division is two mainly of two types. One is benign, and the other is malignant so coming to the benign tumors of the breast they include uh, mainly three types basically three types they may, i mean others are also positive but there are basically three types so one is fibroadenoma fibroadenoma and the second one is phyllodes tumors And the third one is intraductal papilloma. Right? Carcinoma of breast is also important. And this malignant includes carcinoma of breast, which is again of many types. We will discuss this carcinoma of breast in our next class. In our today's class, we will discuss about the fibroadenoma uh, and phyllodes tumor if time permits or else. In this class, we will discuss about fibroadenoma first. So, fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma is a benign lesion of the breast. So, here, uh, this tumor has been basically of two elements. One is the epithelial element and the other is the fibrous element. As the name says, it has two elements. One is fibrous and epithelial element it is the most common benign tumor of the breast though it can occur at any age but it is most common between 15 to 30 years of age uh, what does a patient presents to you so clinically a patient presents with a solitary which is only one discrete which is different from others freely mobile nodule in breast right this is the presentation and this uh, uh, how does it show morphologically right this is the presentation so morphologically uh, this is small that is approximately 2 to 4 centimeters in diameter solitary well encapsulated it is encapsulated really very good so it is well encapsulated it is perical or discoidal mass right it is typically small and solitary and it is well encapsulated spherical and discrete mass so what do you see on cut surface Cut surface, it is firm. It is firm to touch. It is grey white in color. Slightly mixoid. And shows slit like spaces. Uh, sometimes many adenomas may also be seen. Right? So, 
Sometimes, if multiple adenomas are seen or multiple fibro adenomas are seen, then they may call, they are called as fibro adenomatosis. And very rarely, if this adenoma is large, that to up to 15 centimeters, then this is called as giant fibroadenoma. It is very large, so it is called as giant fibroadenoma. So, what are the microscopic features? So, all these are the cross features. So, now let us discuss about the microscopic features of fibroadenoma. Better if I keep it here, right? Yeah. Microscopic features of fibroadenoma. So, uh, let me draw a diagram. As I uh, teach all the classes, let me just draw a small simple diagram. Yeah. So, first, uh, coming to the microscopic picture, uh, this tissue mainly consists of fibrous tissue, right? Many fibrous tissues will be present. And these are of two patterns are seen. So basically two patterns are seen. So I draw two diagrams, two patterns. So one is intracanalicular, which I will draw first, and then pericanalicular. So in intracanalicular, the stroma... Uh, it compresses the ducts so that the ducts are just like slits so these are the ducts which are just like slits because of the compression of the fibrous stroma right and these are lined by uh, ductal epithelium so this is a ductal epithelium right these are lined by normal ductal epithelium most probably but uh, the ducts are the fibrous stroma, the stroma will be fibrous. So these ducts are surrounded by the fibrous stroma. The stroma becomes completely fibrous. So due to this fibrous stroma, the ducts are completely compressed. So this is a duct which is compressed and it looks like a slit. You can see it is a slit like. So this is the picture of a canalicular pattern. So what is seen? Uh, a fibrous stroma is present. So this fibrous stroma it compresses duct and this is compressed duct looking like slit like pattern right so this is intracanalicular pattern so now let us go to the other type of pattern which is pericanalicular pattern right So, pericanalicular pattern, here uh, there is fibrous stroma, but there is no compression of the duct. Instead, the ducts are normal or sometimes they may be dilated. So, you can see this is a duct which is normal or dilated, but this contains fibrous stroma. And it is lined by ductal epithelium. So, this is the ductal epithelium. And this is lined by this right? So, this is what is seen in the canalicular, uh, pericanalicular pattern. So, what is seen? These are the ducts which are dilated or normal. And this is the fibrous stroma. But there is no, there is no uh, compression of the duct here. No compression. Right? So this is pericanalicular pattern. Fine? Right. Now, uh, this fibrous stroma which is seen, it can be 
cellular sometimes and sometimes it has hyalinized collagen this can be cellular or it has fibrin uh, or uh, hyalinized collagen or it may have hyalinized collagen and you can see this stroma uh, overall in overall the stroma is loose and myxedematous or myxomatous see meaning the same so this is consists of uh, there are ductular so if this fibrous stroma I mean if this fibrous tissue element is scanty and the tumor is mainly contained of ductular pattern then it is called as tubular adenoma so scanty stroma with more ductular pattern So this then this is called as uh, more ductular or SNR proliferation. Then this is called as tubular adenoma. If if again this adenoma has SNI. With secretory activity, if it has secretory activity, then this is called as lactating adenoma, right? And uh, juvenile adenoma, what is juvenile adenoma? As the name says, it occurs in adolescent girls. And even this is larger and rapid growing tumor. So this is about the fibroadenoma which I discussed in detail with two diagrams. So this is the part of the benign tumor of breast which is fibroadenoma. In our next class we would learn about the phyllodes tumor and the other tumor and other benign tumors which are associated with the breast. Okay friends don't forget to comment on my method of teaching. Okay bye.